Warning. This video contains discussion of mature themes and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Joey Kelly. And today I'm going to be talking to you about a night that changed my life. September 6th, 2018, at 7.25 p.m. or 19.25 hours, depending on how you figure time, I got a message from a friend, and he said, Did you see... Isaac's post. And I said, well, no, I, I haven't. What's up? And he said, you really need to go read it. And so I did. said in part I can't go on anymore and shortly after posting it Isaac Greenlaw would successfully complete the last choice he ever made. The choice to complete suicide. Isaac Isaac hung himself. I didn't find him until the next day. This is why the obituary says September 7th, but... We all figured it was probably the 6th. Outpouring on his Facebook page was incredible. So many people, myself included, begging him to reach out, calling. I think we jammed his phone full of voicemails. There were so many. I know what mine said. Hey man, post has me concerned. Hey, give me a call, will you? Of course, he never did. A few days later, we had a funeral. It was a firefighter's funeral. He was a firefighter and EMT and dispatcher for ambulance service here in the Bangor area. It was huge. It was fire trucks and hundreds of people there. Lives that he touched. And after a while I couldn't take it. 
when the ceremony started, I just, I just couldn't take it. There were a bunch of us that felt the same way. We all wound up meeting in a local pub. Had burgers. It was like four or five of us. Couldn't help feeling that some way he was there. We told stories. We laughed. We talked about him. We told stories about each other. It's the kind of thing that would have been right there telling his off-color jokes and swapping stories with the rest of us. Somehow it was more like the Isaac that I knew at a big firefighter's funeral. And I found out later that he was far from the only person involved with EMS emergency medical services, first responders, whatever you want to call them, that, that committed suicide that year and, and many more since and before. He had so many people to call, to reach out to. Just say, hey, need to talk. But he didn't reach out. I wonder that's because he felt like no one cared. Or whether it was because he felt like it would be a sign of weakness or sign somehow he wasn't strong or, or, or able to deal with his problems. I don't know. I can't say. But all I can tell you is about the grief and the pain of my friend who isn't around anymore. If you feel disturbed, if you feel stressed, if you feel like there's no way out, there is. Find help. Call someone. Call a friend. Pick up the phone. Talk to somebody in person. Call a counselor. Call an 800 number for help. I don't care what you do, but reach out. No one, no one is weaker for reaching out. You're only stronger. Because with support, we're all stronger. Please, please reach out. And don't put anyone else through some of the things that I've been through. There's always help, and there's always someone to talk to.
If you or someone you know needs help and you are in the United States, call or text 988. The 988 Suicide Crisis Lifeline is a national helpline that provides free and confidential emotional support 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to people in suicidal crisis or emotional distress.